Good afternoon and these are the news at 2. The budget 2020 table in Parliament last Friday should see a fair readjustment to address the imbalance with respect to wealth sharing. Deputy Chief Minister Tan Sri Dato Ama Dr. James Masing pointed out that Sarawak is an equal partner with Peninsula Malaysia as agreed in the Malaysia Agreement 1963, MA63, and as such, the financial allocations in the budget must reflect the fair partnership. Masing, who is also Parti Rakyat Sarawak PRS President, opined that the federal government purposely allocated more to Sabah which will be getting 5.2 billion ringgit in terms of development expenditure next year while Sarawak will be getting 4.4 billion ringgit. He further said the budget 2020 was supposed to reflect the shared prosperity vision 2030 but instead the PH government had a different idea as it wanted to show its true colors. On another note, certain important statistics Released in the Budget 2020, the outlook of Malaysian economy for the year 2020 does not look optimistic. Sarawak United People's Party SUPP Dudong Branch Chairman Wong Ching Yong said he sees gloom ahead as the revenue expected to be collected for the year 2020 is 244.53 billion ringgit, comparing with 2019 revised estimate of 263.3 billion ringgit. This represents a 7.13% decrease. Reduction in revenue means a taxable income from taxpayers, including companies, individual petroleum income tax, and other non-tax revenue and indirect tax, and is also reduced. Wong said, this is a very worrying sign because this is the first time in many years that income is reduced by such a significant percentage. A group of 22 longhouse chiefs from G, Padai, Tua, and Bawan areas, including three Penghulu in Gemah constituency, expressed strong oppos opposition to the move by the Pakatan Harapan PH federal government to set up the Village Community Management Council MPKK. According to Penghulu Barnabas Ankis, the existing Village Security and Development Committee, GKKK, in the longhouses has proven to be relevant and very effective in disseminating information and monitoring village projects, conducting activities and solving problems and taking care of the welfare of the people in villages. He pointed out that the MPKK has a political element to it which can jeopardize their peace and unity but also will have an impact on the sustainability of the previous appointments. Well, that is all from me. I'm Odin Katerni for TV Shrawa. See you again.